You know, trauma has no discriminators. People can be black, white, rich, poor, yes or no. live in the suburbs, in the city. It actually doesn't matter. And the point you want to know as a family member or as a patient or as anybody, a average citizen, is there is somebody, there is a team of people that are always there, always on call, always ready to take care of you in the midst of any event that may occur. The basic core of how do we measure quality, what's expected, what's accepted, what's standard, what's evidence-based, their roots are in trauma care. So when you look at that, and you look at what this program has done in its 35 years, it has very much been part of the national team, very much been a leader, and to this day is a gold standard. We took the, the best emergency nurses that we had, the best of the best. We pilfered a few Jacksonville Fire Rescue paramedics, the best of the best, and uh, you know peppered this with a few of us docs that were so interested in it, and uh, they were top notch. We took pilots who had Vietnam experience, and uh, I think overnight we made a very, very good crew, very good operation. Everything from orchestration of where individual specialists should be when a patient comes in the door to the process of how resuscitations should be handled, to the process of management of specific injuries. We do disaster preparedness drills, we do mass casualty drills, we're an American College of Surgeons level one accredited center, which is the nation's highest award, if you will, or the highest recognition of, of prepared trauma centers. This verification demonstrated just how well we do things. And that is what is one of the greatest joys of all, is just truly demonstrating to the world just how great we are. We have seasoned trauma surgeons, we have experienced staff, and everyone here really makes the effort to make this an outstanding experience for our patients. This is an extraordinary hospital. So it's this uh, coalescence of all this talent and the nurses who've done it so many times over and over and over again. So it's speed, talent in the right place at the right time, 24 hours a day. That's why we did it. And, and from that, plenty of literature says you save lives. And that, that became our mission. And Trauma One became the, the name and the icon that it is as a result of that. 35 years is amazing. We were only just starting to learn of the importance of trauma centers 20 years ago, and they've been doing this for 35 years. The people who've been here throughout, you know, the doctor, the legends, Dr. Tupas, Dr. Freiberg, when he was still alive, these are people who are legends in the community and legends in trauma. The opportunity to see miracles every day, people that survive things that they initially arrive here in the trauma center, you're like, oh, there's no way they're going to survive. And then six months later, you end up seeing them. They come back and visit, and, and they look great. That's incredibly rewarding. Having done this for 35 years, our hospital knows how to handle those situations and we set forth plans that allow us to manage those events, whether it's one patient that comes or, or 10 patients. So we handle those because we've thought about them, we've participated in those situations, we've learned from each one and we use, again use that experience to sort of hone our expertise. Why is it important for the average person? Because it may happen to you, it can happen to you. Why is it important for the city of Jacksonville? Because if we want to be the world-class city that everybody is striving to, you need a well-functioning level one trauma center. I'm immensely proud of, of what we've been able to put together here. Just taking the trauma program to new heights has been a joy for me. We were the first trauma center uh, and remain one of the leaders. I'm very proud of that. It's, it's been extremely satisfying. Um, I, I never feel like I need to go off and do something else in my life. And if I were to have to make the choice of specialty again, or the place that I was working, I'd choose my specialty, which happens to be emergency medicine. This place, this trauma center, these colleagues, you know, these surgeons and colleagues that I've been able to work with over the years. It's, I'm very satisfied, I'm very happy about it.